you die, right? That's obviously critical to doing what you want. But the question is, how can you have a healthy, affordable diet? Obviously, you could go to the grocery store and decide you want to, you're enthusiastic, you want to do this raw diet, and you're going to buy a whole bunch of stuff, and you're going to look at your grocery bill, and you're going to be like, oh my goodness, how did I spend that much money? So, I want to share with you guys a little bit about how to do a healthier diet without breaking your bank, because it's not going to, either way, if you're broke, you're not going to be happy. If you're not healthy, you're not going to be happy. This is all about living a happy, fulfilling life. The key is nutrient-rich, low-cost foods. Both of those is what we're looking for. So one of my go-tos is carrots. They're just really excellent. Only a dollar per pound. Five dollars for a five-pound bag. And the carrots are not only that, but they're high in calories, so they're satisfying. But they're very high in nutrients. So carrots are a really great go-to for an affordable health food. Going on with this theme of economically and nutritionally effective foods, I'd like to compare walnuts versus carrots. So you've probably heard this thing recently about walnuts being so great. Um, you know, on Facebook they're sharing all these little things about how great walnuts are for your brain, how they have all these wonderful healthy fats, how it looks like in your brain, and it's good for your brain. Well, that's very cute, it's very memorable, it's very nice, but maybe not necessarily so practical. So price per pound, $8 per pound versus dollar per pound, so they're obviously more expensive per pound. And if you look at the calcium per pound and the vitamin E per pound, you'll definitely see that yes, the walnuts, a pound of walnuts does have more calcium and more vitamin E than carrots per pound. However, how much should we pay for the walnuts and how much should we pay for the carrots? So, what about per dollar instead of per pound? So we're going to divide that by eight, and this is what you're going to see. So for a dollar of walnuts, you're going to get 5% of what you need in calcium in a day versus 12% of what you need in a day from the carrots. And if we're comparing with vitamin E, and here's the thing, people think nuts are really great for vitamin E. Well, the carrots at 19% of your needs for the day for a dollar of carrots versus a dollar of walnuts at only 3%. So that's a huge difference. The carrots are way more effective at getting your vitamin E affordably. So what about vitamin B3? 5% versus 30% for a dollar of carrots versus a dollar of walnuts. Iron. Now, a dollar of walnuts will give you slightly more iron, but not by a whole lot. And potassium. 29% versus 5%. So the carrots are definitely winning again. But wait, there's more. <laughs> Calories per dollar. So a dollar of walnuts, you're going to be eating 382 calories, that's half a cup of walnuts, half a cup of walnuts, and um, that's what, like six, seven carrots, I believe? No, it's not six, seven carrots, it's only like five carrots? Anyways, 177 calories for a dollar of the carrots. So, you're going to be eating a lot more food and gotten less nutrition. Or at least in terms of calories, more food, smaller volume. And grams of fat, you will have also eaten 38 grams of fat in a dollar of walnuts versus one gram of fat in carrots. And here's something interesting about fat. 10 grams of fat takes one hour to digest. So that dollar's worth of walnuts is going to take you nearly four hours to digest. Now where's the carrot juice? This carrot juice I'm drinking, I probably already digested most of what I drank already. It's pretty quick. This, is, this juice goes into your system very quickly and very efficiently, which is one of the reasons why juice is recommended. It also goes in so quickly that I mostly recommend vegetable juice as opposed to fruit juice because obviously if you don't want to spike your blood sugar really fast, um, but you're not going to really have that problem so much for vegetable juice, especially not if you're doing like a lot of celery juice is one of my favorites. And there's one more other thing. All foods have a toxin load. This is not, you know, um, there's not any food that has no toxin in it. Like, for example, green tea. There's tannins in it. If you get too many tannins in your diet, which are actually an antioxidant, if you get too many tannins in your diet, it will become toxic. Every single food out there has some toxin load, including leafy greens. The question is, does the food negate those toxins and have enough benefits that it doesn't matter that it's got a little bit of toxins? And the other question is, how much toxins does it have? Is it loaded with them, or has it just got a tiny little bit? So the toxin load on, on walnuts, I'm going to say, is pretty medium. The walnuts tend to have, just like the peanuts, they tend to have mold growing on them. And those little black parts you see on the walnut, the black coloration, that's where the mold was dried on. If you look at a fresh walnut, 
There is none of that black colorations anywhere on the wall. And if you get it fresh, cracked open, and fresh off the tree, the walnut's going to be slightly moist. And if there's any mold on it, it's visible. It's obvious. It's like all fuzzy and stuff. You can see it. So, whereas after it's been dry, it just kind of looks like a slight coloration difference. The problem with these molds is not that they're alive. Generally, they're not alive anymore. The problem is that molds put off toxins that kill off other molds. These toxins not only kill other molds, they hurt our organs. So, not good. Carrots are not particularly moldy, generally. <laughs> I mean, how often do you see a moldy carrot? <laughs> so, um, there may possibly be some amount of toxic from the way they're cleaned. Um, which is why I say low to none. There might be some amount, but it's not nearly as high as the walnuts in terms of toxin load. So, as you can see here, all through and through, carrots just stomp right over walnuts. And if you ever need a fake tan in the middle of the winter time, just, just have a ton of carrots. Because I'll tell you, I like the orange color that comes to my face after I have too many carrots and one day from juicing. It's <laughs> more juicing. Okay, so you guys are probably thinking, well, that's just carrots, right? You probably just pick the most efficient, most wonderful food in the world, like carrots, right? Um, and maybe walnuts aren't, maybe maybe walnuts are just bad, maybe that's what you guys are thinking. Um, but it's not just walnuts versus carrots, I'm going to do wheat versus lettuce now. Thanks for watching. This has been some excerpts from my two and a half hour talk at Ashker's Juice Bar. You can check out their fresh raw juices on Elmwood Street in Buffalo, New York. You can find my recipes, including ice cream, simple green juices, savory nori wraps, and really decadent desserts on my website. While you're there, you can also subscribe to my monthly newsletter. Also check out my digital paintings. I'm available for book cover commissions as well as logo designs, business cards, and more. See you at Raiderly.com.